So Jessica, I was just going over the top of this, but I know that you haven't had your meeting with Megan on it yet. Um, yeah. All right, okay. did you bring the draft? I, I just got one from you. Okay, know, I didn't know if we were allowed to bring that. Well, I just, that's what I was asking. He said, yeah, we're allowed to talk about it. So, okay, so. that's great. You go over here and do your thing. Uh -huh. <laughs> because see, we, I was trying to explain to them your, the, our thinking on the casitas and the, that you guys are trying to do with the mobile home communities, you know, like phase them out eventually if we can, if not, keep them. And, yeah, yeah. I'm, so I, you have the one that we printed off before we came? Here's this one. Oh, uh, no, I have a list of bullet points. That That's a draft of what we're trying to fix. Where did, where did, where did you get I don't have a copy of it. That's because of the notice. I don't know where. Oh, okay. 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 No, that, okay. This is what we put down and we can do that one. No, this is my own. So, <laughs> this is my. Just with the. Okay. No. The email to us or what? No, this is just my note. I make notes on here. How did you print out? This is just not even that. You just is, put sugar in the normal order. The normal okay. order. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, okay. we don't have to look. Just a but you want to put okay. those in our whole I can So really, I don't know if you guys know the differences on the colors. So the brown is for single family. Mm -hmm. That's for like one house. The blue is for duplex for townhouse. That means it's allowable, but you can also put a single family in the blue. Okay. okay. Or two. Two family district. It could be two houses, right? It could be a duplex or a townhouse. Or you can put a single family in the in a blue. Well, in our case, you don't care right now. <laughs> so would you just know what okay. Yeah. So the brown is just for a single family. So that's you see a lot of the like a uh, carpenter and the like the nicer houses just have one single family. Um blue, blue you can do the same thing. So you can put a single family in there or a duplex or townhouse. Okay. Okay, the only place you can put a manufactured home right now is in this light green called the R4. Okay, and then um, the dark green, which you don't see very much of it, this is for apartment districts. So these are the apartments back in Orange Street. You've got the Claire departments up here, uh, Solar Rock State University. Um, and these, there's That's some here. The, the, yeah, there's a little bit, and then this is all apartment districts. And in the apartment district, you can also put in a single family or are two. So in this area, you, you have more options. You have you can put a single family, duplex, or apartment district. But you have to have a lot of land to apartment. You have to have a lot of square footage. Mm -hmm. And the, then the R's are just back there, right? An R1 can go into an R2 or an R3 or an R4. Pretty much. But except, except for the R3, you can't put them, that's only designated for apartments. You can't put them in an R4. Yeah. So but R3 is multi family. Yes, multifamily. It's for higher right. density living. Yeah, apartments. And then the, the lighter green is the only part of the map that you can put manufactured homes. We have it called mobile home district, which I put in a rough draft of it. And we're thinking to maybe change the name of it for mobile home district since mobile homes aren't technically considered by code anymore. They're actually manufactured housing. And we don't really want that to be like the focus of the R4, mm -hmm. we wanted to change it to what do we call it? Mixed, mixed residential. Mixed residential. Yeah. Now, what about manufactured that's manufactured in a warehouse and then moved Yeah, they're outside? allowed. They're allowed. Right, but they're not, they're not on wheels. They are, they are so they're right. So they're talking about a modular by code? To yeah. Manufactured or modular. So mobile home is 1976 or older. Yeah. No, no, this was this is modular. There's a place in Lubbock right. that several people around here have bought homes yeah. from. Let's okay. consider an R1. That's an art. I, I live in. So, how, when they go to the city, when, um, how do they, how do you identify the, what it is? So, in the ordinance, I don't know. If that no, no, no. But when you get it, what is it that you request to so, figure out? Is this okay. a modular home or is this a. So, it's the way it's deeded. Yeah. So, this on, on a menu, on a modular home, it must have a certified seal and set by the manufacturer's standards. So they have to send us the plans. Right. Like you, like just like any other house, you'd send like um, a site plan mm -hmm. and you'd have your engineering stamp plans. So those stamp plans have to be stamped as modular in order for them to be considered modular by code. Well, manufacturer comes in on wheels and it's- So what about the ones that go- We can call mobile home 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 home. What are those considered? In know where? In OJ. The, what is it called, the company? Oh, the solitaire homes? Yeah, those are manufactured mm -hmm. homes. Those are considered like mobile homes. 
So they, they just changed the name from mobile home to manufactured because of the year. They come in on wheels. They come in on They can be put on a foundation. And they're no, there's no to consider manufactured. They're only allowable in the art. Yeah. Okay. Because they're, they're always going to be okay. able to be moved again. Yeah. But a modular home, once it's set, it cannot be moved ever. Yeah. It okay. actually goes on yeah. foundation. It goes on foundation. Yeah. But so, like, if you crawl underneath my house, it's tearing me. Yeah. Or if you go to Toronto for the states. Yeah. Like you won't even realize that those are modular homes, but a good majority of them. Which one? They come they, they come into the mobile home? No, they come in like segments. Yeah, they come in segments. Oh, they they both them together. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I'm not looking at them all through our home when you see them. They look very similar. They do. And then they when do. I went to the city and I asked, because we were buying a building for work, and so they said, just what you read, you know, in the description of the plan, so have it. You know exactly what it is, and um, if it's one or if it's the other. Hey, Missy, now. So. And what about tiny? What no, about tiny? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. The sorry. The, we're still talking about mobile for a moment. Mm -hmm. If it's got wheels, what is it? Because there's campers, there's um, motor no. coach homes, not RV. It's got a certificate yeah, so with it. Recreational. Mm -hmm. yeah, All of them. No, well, like motor coach homes and stuff, those are going to be recreational and they're going to have a VIN number. A mobile home and a manufactured home do not. Okay, what if it doesn't have a motor? You're going to have it behind it. If we go under contract, it's still going to have it. It's still it's recreational. So if, if it has wheels, now we can go to tiny homes which don't have wheels. They do have wheels and they're considered and they're actually licensed as, uh, as recreational vehicles. And they're tiny homes are 400 square feet or less. So those you could see like um those little cabins that sit behind five techs, those are like tiny houses. So those the only place they could put up is where it's an R no it'd be C one A. Those are the little house tiny houses. Okay, I know where the yellow is commercial district. Yeah. So that's where like RV parks are. That's where you could put a tiny house. Tiny houses are not considered uh an actual mobile house. house. Yeah. So they don't even go in the greens because they're not okay. considered I did the our court tiny home community, mm -hmm. and they were not on wheels. Yes, everything and that's what was, we wanted. Everything yeah. was permanent. Mm -hmm. It was an actual village. Yeah, that's you what know. we want to incorporate into this. So, so you have to be able to distinguish between what a tiny house is, and we we were gonna. I said cottage, but he thinks casita is more of a better with the dynamic. Oh, like demographic. Yeah. I've been yeah. looking yeah. at them online. You know, it's it's a lot nicer than a deer camp. So, yeah. and uh, they've been showing six hundred square. Yeah, so we could get. You know, bigger. They, they were thinking they from five hundred up. So once they leave it over four hundred yeah. square foot, they're no longer considered a recreation. Yeah. Vehicle. You can't really put that on the wheel. I mean, of you can, top. and you you can pull it in, but when you set it, you're going to set it on a more of a permanent oh, foundation. So, like how we were discussing a, the difference between a manufactured home and a modular home, they're going to be setting it like a modular oh, home. Yeah. It's going to have a parent beam foundation. It's story. not going to be skirted in. It's going to be on a yeah. foundation. And so that's what we were thinking for the R4, changing it to mixed residential and opening up the idea of having more affordable housing options where the, the footprint of the home can be less than what an R1 is. So right now, the, the square footage of an R1 is 1,000 square foot minimum. And you can put an R1 in R4, but we get a lot of people that move out here and they're in my age group and they want to live out here and they realize they can't afford a house here. Um, because first of all, they don't need a house that big, and they they they're looking for something else. And they don't want to buy a manufactured home. They're kind of leaning more towards a tiny house, but we don't want to see a lot of tiny houses. We'd la rather see them like a village, like a cottage style, where they're really they made yeah. it. And then what's that called? Yeah, it's a, yeah. yeah. you have your own lot. Yeah. 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 It'd be just like buying a lot and outside and building a single family residential. Just the square footage requirements will be smaller in the R four. So they could have between 500 to 1,000 square feet rather than having a 1,000 square foot home in an R4. And R4, you can also put it in an R2, right? It's a legal lot of record. R4, you can also put in R1 and R2. Yes, you could do all of them, yes. And that's why we think mixed residential is a better terminology, because like, yeah. when you read mobile home district, it's tiny homes, and mixed residential is better terminology. When you read mobile home district, it's kind of misleading, yeah. um, considering you can have a house or do- Yeah, when I think of mobile home district, I, I think- yeah. Of mobile home park, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> which you, which right. we, we're not removing the idea. We're not removing the idea that you can't have a manufacturing. We're just encouraging 
maybe other ideas for other homeowners to do. Oh, yeah. Right. And and so instead of people being hung up on, oh, it's a mobile home district, is you could have more. And actually in the R4 ordinance, there's the, the, um, new the new concept housing is in there already. So it's already kind of under the umbrella of mixed right. residential. Like or or Frontier Village. Right here. That's actually, that yeah, that's yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so what you said, you still have to put it on the lot. Yes, a legal lot of record. And what is a legal lot? So on our um in our record or in our ordinance, it's a lot width is a minimum of 50 on the street. So the 50, 6, a minimum of 6,000 square feet minimum. So that's 50 by 120. Mm -hmm. In Midland, it's 50 by 100. And I've heard you say in previous meeting that it had to be a minimum of 40 wide. Mm -hmm. I thought she mm -hmm. said 50. Mm -hmm. That's 50. Yeah. 50. Okay. I said that, but. Okay, I challenged, I, you on the, I challenged you on the lot that's next to me on Murphy because I didn't think it was uh, 40 wide. Turns out that it was 50 wide, but um, I remember it because I challenged you on the state. But again, I may have heard wrong, <laughs> and you may have had a Biden moment. I don't know. I don't remember it. I don't remember. I don't remember. Um, but as far as I know, I mean, and I've been dealing with the ordinance a lot. It's been fifty, um, at least fifty, and then you can have a double lot. And what we were also, um, yeah, kind of follow along there. Well, um, this is a lot of different things being included in it because we're trying to edit the, we're editing being the um if there's no more okay so the other thing that we were talking about is the c2a which i don't know if any of you guys have been on or online on the moody code but there's no um information online on what's allowable here it's, it hasn't been codified so it's not in the ordinance and so, uh, um, C2A? Yeah, I couldn't find anything. Yeah, it's, it's not in there. And so, and, and when we did look up the records, which um, you were able to ask Geo for, a lot of almost identical matches word for word is the C1A. Mm -hmm. So we were thinking about it because we're going to be um, taking this, we're going to take this draft and make it real to remove the purple and make it yellow to open it up more space for RV parks. But not remove what's allowable there because it's going to be the same allowable. So it's allowable. Move the purple to yellow, not to the C1A. Oh, yeah, we're going to move it to yellow. So C1A is RB Park. You're allowed, and in C2A it is allowable still. So we're not removing that option because that's the only the only zone that you can do that with is the yellow mm -hmm. and the purple. But since the purple is not clarified in the code, and it's really it it just makes more it, it makes more sense to consolidate them because it's not you're not losing anything. They're not losing anything. What's in there right now? Um, you got a little bit of everything. You've got um, grass, <laughs> weeds, um, yeah, right. you've got um, yeah. lots of illegal dumping. This is a big vacant spot, and this is a big vacant spot, and there's rumor that they're going to do something really cool with it. But um, this over here is a little bit of everything. It's got. That's I mean, this Jerry. is this is on the way to oh, Ted Street. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's commercial. It's commercial on both sides. I missed the pronoun meeting. Who is they? What? You said they're going to do something cool. The with owners. Oh, the owners. Oh, the owners. hotel. No, this is over by the cemetery. Oh, the back. Oh, it's back it's, it's a bunch of random. It's like ranch. Yeah. 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 So, oh yeah. That's but that was a recommendation like because a if you and I would encourage you to look at what the um, documents were from the last meeting, what C two A entails, and compared to C one A, and you'll see that we're really not removing anything. Really just, the only difference between the two is the one is business district and the other one's neighborhood commercial. Yeah. There's not much of a difference. Just the wording is everything else is allowable. It's the same identical. Okay. So um that is something we'd like to recommend so that when we get the new draft updated, that 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 this becomes yellow and we don't have as many. One more other thing. One it's other thing. It more complicated. And it hasn't been in here, it hasn't been there for how long and then nobody's used it. I know it's uh um, like, why do we have it? So that was one thing that we wanted to do. May I ask another question? Yes, sir. So in I think two meetings back, we talked about a property that's on 181 toward Big Ben. That a lot of that is 118. Uh, what well, maybe it's 118, yeah. Sorry. Um, a lot of it is right now zoned residential. 
And we talked about we need to probably, since that's on the highway, we need to make that commercial property. So we would need to do that before we can see. No, our no, no, no. So that's the comprehensive plan. So first we have to take what's already been zoned and, 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 up. and cleaned up. Yeah. So we're going to take it and that's what. Um, that's what the city will get. Yeah, they went through and they're changing it so that everything that's been um, an annexed or rezoned since 2013, because this is 2013 map, and even in between to here is going to be reflective on this new map. And so when the new map is um, adopted and what do you call it, Geo? When they approved. approved by city council, then planning and zoning comes in with a, a copy of it and makes a decision what a, a comprehensive plan is. So that's the future growth of Alpine. And that's where that would come in at. Because mm -hmm. we, 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 we have to have it. Yeah, we don't we can make a recommendation on it right here for the city. Right. We can, rec yeah, we can recommend to yeah. consolidate things. Yeah. Um, and make changes to, yes. Because, and these are just ideas right now yeah. that we've kind of like, we've decided that probably should be um, updated okay. since we see more and more issues of them come up. Okay. Which of these the is the newest? I know there was one added not too long ago, maybe like 2007, mm -hmm. 15, maybe the C0. Yeah, okay, okay. it was C0. Yeah. Was C0. C0 is a new one. Yeah. And I really think that C0 is not used enough. I'd like to see it implemented a lot more in the comprehensive plan. Because really, it, yeah, it should be like the the, the in between residential. It should be like I think it should be called R five. Well, <laughs> but removing the name of it would to office services district rather than commercial office because when you put commercial in front of office, everybody uses it and everybody goes, <gasps> you know, they don't want you to change something or whatever. But, <clears throat> but if you can make it a, a office services district, it seems more consistent. I think that one was done when we were moving here for healthcare and we bought that house. And so they wanted to make sure that we weren't going to do duplexes or anything. So the city went in and created a new that was just for people that were going to have offices, which now that I'm seeing, I was like, there's so many different other districts. I don't know if one of those would have matched fine, but they wanted to make sure. I remember when I went through the meeting that we were going to change it and make it to like a not a multifamily, but like apartments or things like that. So the thing about co commercial offices and you can walk that district rather than this is that that's what you, you're in the middle of a neighborhood, right? And when you need to bring something in that's going to help the community within the neighborhood, then it can go office as long as it doesn't fall into the capital. Yeah, yeah that's not find that well. And so that's kind of what. what so the, I remember, it's like traffic. Yeah, that was like in 2015. Yeah, but it's kind of like what they were trying to do. That would make sense. On, 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 on the beauty shop and all that. And it it should have been easier. Office over there. So that everybody around us looks bad. It's a commercial office. And when you put that C word in front of it, they go, and they can't can it. So if you turn it into something like business office and address it from that perspective, it doesn't. It's, well, I was going to suggest it. Put bathing on that. Instead of that, make it R5. The R is residential. So, yeah, you know, it's not residential. It's not residential. Which one? If, it, if it's an R, you have to know that. But just the wording on the, yeah. it's like, R of the C0, yeah. that, it scares people yeah. because it's R supposed to be used as a buffer yeah. between yeah. residential and commercial. Oh, but it's not residential? It's not residential. It's like where you would find, like, like, um, like a, a clinic or somewhere where you have very low traffic. Yeah, so, so you talked about that. insurance companies, yeah. these real estate it, companies. This is you what know, it says. It's the same thing. That'd be commercial where you would see healthcare. No. And this was not allowed. This is like low traffic, low mm -hmm. just like you would have like a chiropractor in there or somewhere where you have one customer at a time coming to it. A not, salon. not a bar. Not a bar. Professional working. Yeah, it tells you. It what does it say? For a studio, basically, kind of thing, like an art studio or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I know they a created it, and it, it had to do with that. That there was that makes sense. I was trying to find it. I don't know if it's right there. Yeah, that is. Yeah, that's it. But right. Mm -hmm. That's the um. The PT or something. Yeah, but there was two different parts that we did. We did one, and then the other one they sewed it differently. I don't think they made it up as the one that's the church, and that one was done afterwards. Got it over there too, where like up on fitness and stuff. Mm -hmm. And this is where um that uh, foot doctor used to be. Oh, and yeah. a wellness center. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And that used to be a retirement. Yeah, in my Oh, where is that? Right up here. That is, yeah. Like have, a, have a request? Yes. Especially if you're going to turn this in as an official map. This one it needs to be. Okay, all right. This one does have a scale. So this one's not going to be official because it has no this is the, this, the, 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 this is the 2013 that was okay. that, that we have been working off of. And this is the one that they're working on now to set up. This is with all the changes. Changes. The yeah. 13 right. years of changes. And, and, and you can see that one's smaller than this we one. That piece it's scale paper. paper. So you know, just, if that was going to become official, I wanted to have a scale. Is that what you're looking at over there in front of you? Is that yeah, right here? That's yeah. like the new one, but it's the only one for the Yeah, yeah these are the same. Just one is printed on a, on a slightly larger format. Mm -hmm. And you can see that in the scaling that's here and here. Mm -hmm. but there was no scaling on that one. But it yeah. was signed. <laughs> it might just be the diff a different person that made this map. And right now, the current person that's using it does have the scale, which is good. Yeah, we're being counsel delegates that do it. So. Mm -hmm. I think the city could be all Yeah, this is the one we should be working with now. Could you the purple? Uh, yeah, that, that's one of the things that we're recommending is just to really not get rid of it, we're consolidating merging it. it. Yeah. You're merging it into the yellow. So the yellow, yeah. the purple would become yellow because really there's no difference. The other thing that we spoke about is um, removing the option for having manufactured parks yeah. inside city limits. Mm -hmm. Just because none of them are, none of them are um, in compliance with the city right now. Um, all of them are a health life safety issue that we would prefer to see manufactured homes as they come in to go on their own single lot. That way the homeowner or whoever owns the property is responsible for it because dealing with Frontier Village, just as an example, they're not registered with the city as a manufactured housing commu community, even, and they're not even zoned for it, but they're grandfathered in. Grandfathered the in. crowding and the way that they've been managed over the years, um, like if Hickey was to leave and another building official came, they wouldn't they wouldn't be able to manage what's going on there it's a mess so like right now if you remove a trailer off of there they can't put another one back in without it being on its own lot because it's zoned r4 and that's one thing changing with a lot of this will do is it sort of pushes them in the direction of what, what you said it helped earlier you know, well you know, the, so the grandfather will stay grandfather yes, but any any plan. new thing well no, but no, no. sometimes they play games for example um street setback Street setback, it's actually the new setback is 50, but the old structures are set at 35. And I think I've read somewhere in the ordinances that says you want uniformity. Does that mean that you would move the setback 50 back to 35 so that the new homes are uniform across the front with the older homes? Because what I've seen happen in the past is they preserve that one wall. They actually set back 50 from what? Well, I'm just using it oh, as an example. Okay. I, I'm, I'm not trying to uh, reference. I was confused but, with the number. Yeah. So I think the setback probably is 35. But the 25. Uh, 25. Okay. So I've seen them, you know, shore up the front of the building, tear the whole rest of the building down because they want to preserve that setback that doesn't need code. So are, would we allow something like that? No, I don't believe we understand. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, let be sure of that. Um, now, up where the antennas are on top of the mountain, mm -hmm. they're building an RV park up there. Mm -hmm. That's not inside city limits. It's outside the city. Yeah, it's up here on the side of the mountain. <laughs> yeah. So Crazy. this this pink piece, this pink piece is inside city limits, and this part here, and that is the part he has not. So Avenue K comes across here and everything on this side of Avenue K is outside of city limits. So we've already heard. No, at least it's on the back side. Of it's not, yeah, it's on the back side. That's <laughs> what I was like, thank you, Jesus, for that. Because I, I wouldn't want to come, day. Day come around on the He's building it now, and then a year he wants to be annexed with some services. Would we not annex him? That's a good example. Okay. He already has services. Why would and it's an RV. Is it a mobile home or is it an RV park? It's outside the city limits. That's what we want, right? Park, I just so. don't want him to come around on the front side of the mountain. No, before you be able to see. see. He's already been he spoken to about because we had neighbors complaining about the dirt work he was doing and like it changing the flow of water 
on that VRD. I could watch it from my house. It was making it a giant dust. Yeah, I just got one, and I saw it from the back side. I was like, please don't come around the front side. We can only really we can only do what's in our jurisdiction, and he's but the front out. side is within the city limits, so he can't. That's not in the what is it extra? No, you're in the front side. Uh, territorial. We can only do um, life, health, safety, life, and the TTJ, which would be like yeah. major fire issues and public nuisance when it comes to code enforcement. When it comes to you, what you could do here, we have no jurisdiction. Where's the apartments that are going over there? Is it these the ones going one eighteen? Oh, 118 is up here. Yeah, that's on the south part of Richard here. So this one, this map, that's the old map. This shows the annexation on the side. And actually, we're missing a piece right here that this the second phase. Yeah. Because that part right there is. Do you have anything like in Fort Davis? There was a guy that was going to buy a mountain that was visible from the fort uh, and build. A big old condo on top of it. And Fort Davis got to stop him because they couldn't hold it by what they called a viewpoint. And they shut him down. Do we have anything like that? We should with our light. So, you know, I'll know. I don't know because <laughs> the city of Fort Davis. I really was not. Yeah. I really don't want to that. Yeah, Fort Davis is not big enough to be home rule. It's not a, it's not a city. city. It's not a city. It's an incorporated area, so it's governed by uh, the council. Yeah. yeah. The county council. The county recognizes dark skies in Hollywood. Yeah, dark skies. Yeah, because dark skies is state. Yeah. Uh, state has to be. Okay. So maybe that RV park will be dark sky. Oh, yeah. why? <laughs> the thought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on the city side at least, no. <laughs> Pretty much also insighting. I don't mean other than comparing what's here and there and figure out if there's any discrepancies. Um, and then so that yeah, that is the y'all basically started on item B on the agenda, discuss the C2A zone and make a recommendation regarding plan to codify or repeal that zone. Uh, it sounds like everybody's in agreement that C2A needs to be removed. And the other item was the workshop. We need a workshop. No, not not in the order, but um, the other item was a workshop to review the current zoning map and the updated draft zoning map compiled by the Rio Grande Council of Government. Uh, and essentially, here are the maps meant for to provide the opportunity for y'all to look at the old map, look at the new one, see if you identify any issues, just to get your uh, multiple eyes on it, so we could. Uh, Research any issues and basically get them back to Rio Cog. To yeah, some, of the, some of these, I mean, they were on there too. That's almost spot zoning. There's, there's a lot of spot zoning. There's spot zoning, and they they were already changed those zones, and we can't really go back and change them back. We can't. There's streets on here. It's so little. It's actually weird. There is nothing. Yeah. So again, it's another request. I don't know if we can do requests or not, but we've got this color chart right here. It tells me that that color is a C1. Now they printed all over this, all the R1, C1s, and everything else. They and and they that. didn't have room for the street names. So I've had to move from here over to there to figure out what streets are what, and then try to come over here and figure out where that is. And just take the R3 over there. Just take all the top R's top off. And, and then system. put the street names. This isn't like just one. There's actually multiple layers to this. Yeah, and I said you just look it on by an email, but no, you know, it's order. Easy to see. yeah, right, yeah. yeah. So there would be multiple. Yeah, yeah this is this okay. Is, so this would be a multi-layer. Yeah. Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So you're just yeah. looking at the one. So yeah. one you can see the streets. Another one you can see exactly. Yeah. I even have yeah. one that goes as far as it being a hybrid, so you can actually see what's there. Okay. And then broke down into sections and all kinds of stuff so you can really zoom in. Yeah, they, 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 they did an amazing job with that. And in reference to the very interesting. If, I, if, I, if, I, if I, go, I go to a large, you know, zoom down in, can I set a pin so that when I zoom back out, I can keep my location? It's just a PDF. Right? It's just a simple PDF. Yeah, I don't okay. think you can change it. You can look at it. I think she was speaking though, and I, I could be wrong, that she's 
because they do the um, CAD, yeah. the virtual CAD, yeah. so they were going to implement in there the pin a property in it. She tell you what well, they're going to have to integrate that. I'm pretty sure she did that. Didn't she? Well, eventually, eventually, she wants to make it to where all of the are switching from one layer to another oh. layer. You'll just get to choose which PDF you're opening, but they it has all the streets. Uh -huh. This is just so much information to print. You, I mean, we'd have to print something the size of yeah. all these tables. And oh, they will be printed. Yeah, print yeah. yeah. we don't even do that. At, you know, and, and for those of you here, when we had to do the spot zoning, um, the tax remember the taxidermy guy? Yep. And we yep. it wasn't even listed, and so nobody knew. I but added it in. She added it in. I was trying to. Where did we put it? It's under C one. C one. Yeah, and so that will be addressed going forward. Things like that, and so we don't have to go up against that. But because it really wasn't listed anywhere, and if there's something else, I mean, that's just one I remember from some of the meetings we had, and it was very confusing. And um, so, how is like, let's say I have a property. Uh, let's say if one of the other sites of the clinic is not here. And then I somehow I'm doing something, and then I realize, oh, it's showing as a for um, year. I don't even know if the show's white. Looking at this old one, um, then how is people going to be able to come and say, hey, there's something incorrect? Do they go to you, or do they? Yes. To yeah. If, if somebody recognizes an issue, they could come to either the building services department or or me to get the conversation started. Probably preferably them. Um, and you know, it's meant for you all to be able to look at both of these maps, say, okay, this looks like it's a different zone. Let's look into that. We have a stack of ordinances that, um, Matt Walter had researched the minutes and got us the information. We pulled the ordinances, we sent them to Rio Grande Cog and they updated the map based on those ordinances. I think so, it's wonderful because I've you. seen a lot of changes this Mm -hmm. between one and another it's just going back and trying to resolve that it wasn't updated over the years and then going forward That's hopefully awesome. we'll have it updated every time there's a zoning change so if somebody let's say not is not a compliance and i'm going to use an example folks i wouldn't wait my big flag over. the guy's <laughs> zone she's on r2 r2 and or, basically or eddie which one It'd be a code Ned. enforcement issue and you would need to file official complaint. So we, does somebody have to complain? Or yes. Come around and go, oh, this guy's not in compliance. We do pick up cases by doing as a field. Um, however, we are working on hundreds of cases at a time. Right. So if there's something that's bothering you, you definitely want so to complain. Because your complaint goes to the top of the list. Mostly from citizen complaints. Yeah, okay. your yeah, citizen's complaint goes to the top of the list. Whether we catch that one neighborhood and that one thing in that day, it's possible we don't like. Sometimes we'll just go out and we'll only focus on high weights or we'll only focus on accumulation of junk. We'll only focus on. So it really just depends. Um, and if there is something that's, that's bothering you anywhere in town, you can always put in the complaint. It can be anonymous. So I'm looking at this and trying to compare to there. Everything I see that's PBD white is outside of the city limits, except for this little bit right here. Yes. Do we? Is that PBD? Because it's the not yellow. Visible. The yellow. If it's, it's inside. Sorry. It's inside, but it's still white. Yeah, it's owned inside city limits. So that's like ranch land. I don't know if you've ever driven out there. But that's by Jeremy and Seth, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so back there, that is city limits, up to a certain point. Okay, but it's also white. So my question is, it's inside the city limits. Is it TBD right now? They just haven't zoned it. It just hasn't been zoned. Then it's TBD. Right. I mean, it's labeled TBD. Okay. Because the TBD actually occurs outside the city limit, and everything else that's TBD, TBD is outside. It's going to be the entire parcel. Is TBD? Then that's the only portion of the parcel that is in the city limits. Okay. Okay. And same with over here. Yeah. There's no color here. So when that I don't know what it'd be considered. Oh, mm -hmm. Well, then this over here is what. Okay. I just was curious because if we're doing it, I don't know we don't want to do it again, again later. Why don't we figure around. out? Because it either be. Or it could be they had they had the property so long it wasn't zoned and they are not interested in having it. So yeah. yeah. Like this. I, which I think 06, which I guarantee they have no intention. Of and they could, because what happens is city, if, if it gets annexed, if it's annexed in and somebody buys it and then they want to do something, they've got to come to us to get it put correctly. Mm -hmm. And then we send it over to city council and then they decide 
if that's what it should be. And I think um, instead of what, what's the thing we just had um, is that last meeting where we they're not just taking everything and put it as like an R four anymore. It, it, they're yeah, actually so going to look at it and see is, what best fits the situation. This is already annexed. So what zone is it? Is what the question implies. Like. So is it C2 or is R1? Because it's part of a much larger range. That's all yeah. this land back well, is it, that, that range was in zone, and so uh, they, they want to leave it this way for now. But, but again, if no, we, but it if we annex, try to make it, it to something, yeah, yeah, if we try to make it no. something besides an R1 or a C2, it becomes a spot zone because it's not adjacent I to any others. We'll have to go back to when this was and this section was annexed and find out it was probably annexed as R1, like it was originally. Yeah, it's thing. like you're saying, what is this one? Yeah, is that, you know, again, unless we make that a spot zone, that's going to have to be R4. So with the way the ordinance was, it would have been R1? Because that's what the ordinance stated that it had to, it had to be annexed. Which they're trying to move away from now. Yeah. Which they're trying they to move away Yeah, that's it. There's a group. So now it's going to be whatever's adjacent to it, right? It should be uh, R1. Yeah, it should be R1. Because that was just passed in the last two years. Okay. I'm, all, I'm still hurting from the guy that got everything rezoned and then sold it to Dollar General. Huh? <laughs> oh, who was that? You don't remember that controversy? Yeah, well, they had a bigger people show up for the council meeting. More people show up for that than they did for the gun control thing. The Dollar General, oh, the, new dollar general. Oh. the new one. Oh, there through going through Fort Davis. Mm -hmm. You know what's funny? It's a great location. When it's we put our trailer there, we had a lot of people complaining, and it was like very low that because it's going to be more traffic. Was when Dollar General came in, I didn't see much complaint. Oh, there were a lot. Oh yeah. Oh, trust me. You but with... but but it was afterwards yeah. after they resold it, like yeah. you're saying, they they played very well. More people showed up to complain than showed up to vote. But it was already rezoned, so there was nothing they could do. Right, because the previous owner rezoned it without revealing the purpose of having it rezoned. So that one was actually annexed into the city as a commercial zone. Was it? That's what he referred to. So it wasn't a rezone, it was annexed into the city. Uh -huh. They were Nobody knew there was going to be a zone like general until it was over. Yeah, so yeah, they don't have to tell. By the time everybody you found know, out, it was too know. late right. to do it. It's just like the in one that we found out what they were going to do out by the railroad tracks recently. You got to ask the questions and dig around and find out what's going to happen. But before they you just, change? Not necessarily. Oh. They, yeah, well, if you find out why they were coming in under somebody else and that's what they wanted to do with it. Well, and you know, that's why the processes is uh, are in place for rezoning. You know, those are required to go through the commission and their recommendation to city council. And if the commission recommends denial, you know, the council would have a have to pass that by supermajority. So, so typically, yes, but in this case, with the annexation, it was annexed as a commercial property, which there wouldn't be anything to do with that. Yes. And nobody would have really think because they're like, oh, there's kind of commercial. I mean, we're trying to build more commercial areas in our community. Right. So. Yeah, and, and really realistically, it only makes sense that going north and south on the highway, going east and west on the highway, that that should be commercial. Yeah, the main right. thoroughfare. Don't think anybody you know? here this and then we can Yeah, I mean, it only makes sense regardless of what they're going to put there. I mean, I honestly think that the location of that Dollar General is super smart. It's close to the hospital, it's close to the ballpark, it's close to the high school. I was a high school kid. I was like, onions. Yeah, oh my crazy. goodness! When you go over there at lunchtime, you're yeah, school and you can't get it. The line so great long. locations <laughs> there. That's where they go. Back here to support them yeah. today, and the person in front of me, they're everybody's doing 45 miles an hour. So all that Dollar General slammed on the brakes because it was right there in the corner, <laughs> and like four of us had to divert so he could turn into tires. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but for the people who live in that neighborhood, they're yeah, probably yeah. love it. I yeah. mean, that's just reality. Well, not only that, but you, it, I mean, my thing is, is that why would you complain about a business going in on a highway when you bought a house next to the highway? Oh, right. Yeah. I, that's I, like I, buying next to the airport and then people yeah, think about it, the noise. Yeah, yeah. like you, you purchased, I mean, I know you moved this far out, but you bought property right on the highway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I live, I have a house at 118 to live there. It's RV trucks all the time, big trucks. So, but that was a good reason why we turned on that battery storage area. Yeah. That was inside that was the city. city. That's a city. Yeah, that that is is so did you read about in London, or maybe this was in Scotland, they had an EV, somebody backed in there, plugged it in, got on an airplane and left, 
that car caught fire. The fire was so intense and hot that it set all the cars around it on fire. By the time the fire finally dangerous. went out, the entire parking garage had collapsed from the danger. So let's put that right in the middle of town, don't you think? Well, thankfully, the fire department's had to use the phone that'll actually be able to put it out. Not that easy. Not unless it's something that's happened recently. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a new, it's a new phone. Yeah. yeah. It's on yeah, well, you, use on aircraft carriers, too. Probably it's been around. We just didn't want to have the access. To well, they used to use the, the frothed up chicken fat, but now they've decided that that causes cancer. So, chicken nuggets. Do you guys have any other concerns as we're looking at this? Yeah, or what, is, what is your opinion on all of this? Throw it out and start over? Yeah. I wish. <laughs> I wish we could just take some dry erase. And, I mean, obviously, there's been some poor decisions over the years of people allowing things to go into spots they, don't, they shouldn't have never been able to. We, we have a lot of spot zoning, so um, that's, that's hard to fix, but hopefully... With a comprehensive plan, plan, we'll be able to make it more. At least um, we're aware. Of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, and also, you know, I think um, Miss Branch brought like a a plan from like the '70s, mm -hmm. and obviously, the way Alpine looks today is so different than what somebody thought it was going to look like in the '70s. So for us, we kind of know, you know, the Big Bend National Park and the way Trilling was growing that we have a lot of people going in that direction, and Alpine, there's people coming and going constantly out here for tourism, so. We want to encourage the growth of commercial buildings. Um, we don't want them. To I don't think they're ever going to come to here to walk the Alpine Creek, you know, which is in, in the long term plan. Yeah. And they were going to build gardens. It would be nice to have a pathway there. Yeah, it would be nice. Yeah. 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 No, I think yeah. we should encourage. I mean, yeah. like some of my yeah. favorite towns to go through, like Moab and other oh, places. Yeah. There. There's, 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 there's some beautiful places where you have biking and hiking and options like that. and. We should encourage people to want to spend time in Alpine and Big Bend National Park. But right now, like that's what we really would want to see for not only just for people coming through, but for people that live here now that have kids mm -hmm. that want their kids to grow up here and want to stay in Alpine because we want people to stay and work and live in Alpine. And even go to Sorrel. Yeah, <laughs> we want to encourage that. We don't want them to grow up and then just leave. Like you want your community to be a place where your kids want to stay and like help you when you can't get out of your bed. <laughs> we don't live 10 hours away <laughs> when you fall, you know? But I mean, like, I think that that is, I think the walking path and a biking path and all of that, that's really great. That is great. I think it's great. I think it's a great thing to encourage that type of lifestyle in Alpine. Yeah, but I don't think that's going to be bringing tourists to Alpine necessarily. That's what they're asking. Gives them something to do that. Yeah, do, yeah, 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 that's true. Anything the the mural, the I'm murals seeing. are a big thing. The art community is a big thing. I mean, we get a lot of people that are outdoorsy here. I mean, I worked at the National Food Store for a decade, and the amount of people that come down here just to go, to come this far out just to go to the park. Mm -hmm. But if they were able to spend a few more hours in town, whether it's walking to the creek or whatever, that's a, maybe an extra hour at a coffee shop. That's maybe an extra hour at the bookstore. That's an extra. It's going to encourage the community to thrive with people that are. Where is the creek? It's behind the. Um, runs along um, Murphy Avenue and down there at the lake. Somebody can open a rental bike thing where people can rent the bikes. And do the it would be great. Yeah, it would be a great opportunity. Yeah, John Kennedy had that for a while, but I didn't couldn't sustain yeah. it. Yeah, I I proposed to my husband to do those scooters because I go to San Antonio yeah. and I love them. But he he was no. Do you know how much time they break and they do all of this? And I was like, well, it'd be dangerous right now because yeah. it's not set up for anything. Mm -hmm. No, but if you were to set it up, for that's what I mean. Yeah. People that come to this kind of town, they will like the bikes, they like things like that, you know, but our town is not. But I think from all the towns around our community, I think Alpine is the most beautiful of all, just because the surrounding mountains, we have sorrows, there's a lot of, yeah. yes, it's just, what can they do when Got they're opportunity. here? opportunity. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's the big thing is entertaining and family yeah, from the to town. Be, is like, to be Our Maryland advertising Board, but the uh, Alpine is the is the true center. Mm -hmm. like everybody wants to go to Chilling, but like everybody in my family is like, oh, it's hot. Like, oh, it 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 and, and then like Alpine is nicer. It's like our weather, you know. And I'm constant. They're like, and what's there? And I was like, really? Have you ever been to Chilling? Like you're real, like 
hope I have some more to offer. It's a nice day trip. <laughs> want to stay it there. Is. Yeah. Don't come here on weekends. <laughs> That's right. That's something that really I think the bike trail or the walking trail. Mm -hmm. if you want to encourage people to walk around. Yeah. 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 The park car. Walks is one of the only streets that has sidewalks, isn't it? Yeah, you know what they use? They use the alley going right down the middle, the center of town. Yeah, because I walk a lot. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. up toward even toward Lowe's. I mean, I like I said, I have the camera right there. Yeah, and I have I pick up people every fifteen uh -huh. to twenty minutes going up and down that alley. You know, most of them gotten where they wave at. You know, when they go by. I like the shirt. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> that, which reminds me, you, you need to get them to clean up behind the. In the it's and looking kind of trashy next to the uh, map. I, it would be any map to say this is lower one, this is lower four, this is lower four. Or election map. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's another old way. That's yeah. going to be, that's yeah, that's a separate thing there's some, but yeah, it can be implemented on there. That's very easy. We do all sorts yeah, of elections. Yeah, we, election yeah, we do all sorts of elections already. That one's not going to change. Okay. Yeah, we do all sorts of we do congressional, we do all sorts of things. But I'm starting right here. If somebody wants to buy land or come invest, they could see truly, oh, you know what? I'm interested on this or I'm interested on this. So just having a map that's current. I think uh, my, my I guess my biggest passion right now is to be able to offer affordable housing to people because the, the families are getting smaller. Mm -hmm. If you look at the studies, where yeah. there's not as many people that have big families anymore. And less kids in school. They have less children. And the amount of people that I've had come out here and love Alpine, but realize they can't afford to live here, is sad. Because we need working class. We need people who live out here and want to live here. And there's no there's no long-term rentals. And the ones that are available are super expensive. There's We're not opening a spot for somebody to love Alpine, be able to live and thrive here and own a house here that's in that dynamic. It's like, it's either too expensive or not. But look at all that lots. You know, any, any our lot, part, any lot, because, because those people can go right there now and they can't afford it. Those lots are very expensive. You're talking about $40,000 does a lot that is open to Anything, but what if but you still on the tax community? For 2, what if you? Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. Yeah. But but still, if you get an R four for me, thirty thousand dollars for a vacant lot, not that big of a deal. To build a thousand square foot home for me, which I don't even need, mm -hmm. I could. I only need five hundred square feet. Like I don't need five six hundred square feet is perfect amount of house for me. That's less of a of a punch to the gut than having to say, oh, you can buy that, but you either have to put a manufactured house there with eight hundred fifty square feet. Or you have to put a 1,000 square foot residential home, which I wouldn't want to invest in a manufactured home in the first place because they're made out of cardboard. Oh, so mm -hmm. if I'm going to put my mo money in to a piece of property, I'm going to want to build a real house, but I don't need a 1,000 square feet. And there's so many people that so, have came into this town that feel the same way as me. It's like, so, so what you do is you, put that you look toward somebody bringing a developer, which I have looked at the area that want to do like a cottage community mm -hmm. and put this, what we call the smaller cottage casitas in there. And it has like a homeowners association going on. And then you've got something going on and you can put there's, those out there. There's not enough land here to do that. Because I think you could. More than, more going than you think. Yeah, yeah, I think so. More, more than you realize. There's, I think there's, there's a lot of land. land. It's it's like more out out the same. I think you went to the dilapidated it's like some of the real new ones in there. I'm trashy and I need to come down. You can do things like that. But it's safe. We have to say that one of my friends, they just do the fences. I didn't want to put my guy Diego. I mean, so it's not, you don't want to do that. But then we're going to have to do this. But then we're going to have to do this. But you can say that. It's very interesting. It's not going to be worth it. Because they have to be two thousand dollars to get that lot. That's what I'm saying. Um, and then now they're going to build that house. Even at Casita, fifty thousand, five hundred, six hundred square feet to build one for that. Sixty to eighty thousand. And I they think they're going to be a lot in our because we have to put that because we don't need to each other. I think what we're trying to do is we're trying to take the money that's new to people. If they should take one thing, then the middle land they can't put another back in there. Then those will go over. It's the cheapest. But it's going to be who is going to really want to go and put have a small house? We don't want to do it in that niche. I would. Other people don't do it. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's easy to do. 
But what I'm saying is right now, yeah, those blocks still change the You put in the hard five multiple But but if you went to the R4 area and you found a lot, no, that's the thirty thousand. The R4 thousand are very expensive. They're more expensive than and in fact this over here on these. The R4s are more expensive than the brown ones. So that's what we were thinking. Is that's the big change. There is not. There's a lot of R. Forms, but they're old mobile homes, and for those people, when those mobile homes oh, come out, they can't put another one. So like, I can have to go to it and then later build another one. That's what they're saying. No, 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 you're right. I said, I said, but from all the lots that I see, those are the most expensive ones. It, it, it builds opportunity. Yeah. But yeah. You know, and it's just going to build one of the supply and demand. Yeah. You have more yeah. yeah. options with an R4 yeah. than and you can think and, and, and then everybody's yeah. looking for an affordable yeah. house. And then an R4, you can go to the yeah. 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 And, and that's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't think it's going to, yeah. it's not really going to yeah. do, it's not really opening that much because the people, they're more expensive than. These so it brings to mind, uh, right, Mr. But, um, so uh, because what's the size of these? One thousand, a thousand, yeah, start at, but there's a doing like for me, um, like living in a mobile home or a manufactured home, it's like I'm not wasting my money on it, and so, um, I waited like four or five years until I could find a house that I can afford, which happened to be the one right behind you, which is a modular home. Just because it's built just like a home and it's set like a two by six exterior walls and everything. And so um, it was worth my investment. And so with an R4, there's people like me, like I would have bought a property over there, but I couldn't, I didn't have enough money to build a home. And then, like, with um, it's like I want to use a VA loan for, yeah, I had to put 20% down. I'm sorry, but I don't have forty mm -hmm. plus thousand dollars to put down to afford a contractor to come build a house for me, and so it was unaffordable. So it's like if I'm going to spend forty thousand dollars on a lot, the only thing I'd be able to afford would be uh, yeah, <laughs> a nice straight wall to you know, but no, it would be uh, a manufactured home. But if we opened it up to the casitas, uh, five hundred to a thousand square foot. For the single individuals or the people that don't want to have a kid and don't have a use for a half a million dollar R1 home, yeah, the lot costs a lot, but they can afford a house. And you can always add to it if you wanted to. Yeah. Well, because right exactly. now the R1 and the R4s, it's yeah. limited to 1,000. Right. Oh. So, yeah. And like you to say, build a house like that on the ground. And you can always that on. So, yeah. you change your mind. Or if you want to do it in stages, you can do 500 square feet and then add a bedroom. With a bathroom or however you want to do it, you can do it as you can afford it. But it just gives them more options to hopefully appeal to the affordability. No, I I definitely think this community needs more housing. That's the number one thing when I hire people is that they can afford it. And I mean, yeah, it will be great if you could start with a 500 square feet because the day you marry, you have one kid, it's like, okay, we can still stay there. But then when you want to add, like, there's not even the next level. There's not. Yeah, there there isn't. Yeah, they can't afford living. I've had so many cool people that moved out here that can't afford to live here, and they left. They left out of money, and because they can't afford to live here. I mean, everybody that graduates from Sawgrass, they don't stay here because I mean, we don't pay very well in our community. But then the expense of how expensive it is to rent. Any little casita like you're talking, one bedroom is a thousand dollars. Yeah, no, I know. I see one bedrooms for enough to fifty to a twelve hundred dollars when I own some of the throw up. I'm like, who can afford that? That's mm -hmm. like that's two weeks worth of work for most people. Like that's half of their income. That, that is half of their income. Yeah, or more and for some people. Yeah, two yeah. bedroom, two bath just down the street from me rented for twenty four hundred. Mm -hmm. I had been border patrol or, or the, and then I mean, had been somebody a lot of big money to pay. a lot of the people are considering maybe renting like a what is it the rentals because you make more money than the short -term. Than, yeah the short term rentals because you can't there's a lot of them but it seems like people are still needing more in our community so there's it's a lot of the short term rentals you have to identify too yeah and you but you know, when you talk about uh, more affordable rentals and stuff you're not really talking about 
Because there's also yeah. government subsidized, which is kind of desperately needed. Oh, yeah, I know. I definitely, I mean, yeah. that's what they're trying to do with Skyway. But there's, yes. you have to have developers that want to come and do that. Okay. It's not something we we got to get fish in the water, I guess. I don't, know. I don't know how you're going to catch those ones. But if we open up more ideas for more people, then at least I or something. Yeah, you're right there. Okay. I've always said on your right side, they had put the, the things on, switched them, but I switched them back. <laughs> oh, well, that's funny. That's all over there. All right, but yeah, I like, I like that, uh, what we talked about. That was a very good meeting. Very good. Well, well thank yep. Jessica. Yeah, Robert, because they worked on it more than I did. Yeah. Linda, where do you live? Me? Um... Bronson Street. Is that over by the by the Dollar General? By the New Dollar General? No. Uh -uh. Oh, okay, okay. No. I thought it was over there. No, no, no. I uh, work over there. But... Okay. Do you need another pillow? Nope. I found this one there. Okay. Somebody. I'm good. Perfect. Okay. Anybody else need a pillow? Do you like a pillow? He's got a chair uh, down here. I'm good. And Tom's not coming today. I'll get used to not having one, but I won't. He yeah, didn't say anything. <laughs> I usually bring. I didn't oh, use one last off. time, and I was fine. But this oh. time, it's like oh, I have to fit more in the front. So well, since let's we'll send him for cookies. I guess I don't know why they make these chairs. So well, he's got two, more, like, two minutes still. <laughs> <laughs> still got two minutes. I have the big chair. <laughs> there you go. Don't have a gavel, right? 